that you are Lord, you are God, and besides thee there is none other. Hallelujah. There's no other name, O oh God, that's greater than your, yours. Your name is power in the earth, under the earth, O oh God. That at the name of Jesus, every knee must bow, every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. And we, create, we take great delight in speaking your name. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. We lift you. We lift you. We thank you, God. We thank you. Just, just thank you for all things that have come to pass. And uh, oh, God, thank you for the, 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 even the experiences as we came on through the new year, Lord God. And we bless you. These families, oh, Lord God, the calls I received this week, the emails, the texts, the, the, the messages, oh, Lord God. And we just, we just thank you. There's so much that you've done that is praiseworthy. And we give you the honor and we give you the glory and we give you the praise. Now, special time for us, oh Lord God, as we, the, uh, the month of consecration is coming for this, our church body, oh Lord God. And I, I pray now, God, that we be in tune with what the Spirit of the Lord is speaking to the body of Christ worldwide. Not only locally, not only countywide, but God, worldwide, oh Lord God. Speak personally to us we thank you now i pray O oh lord god that these these word this word that today O oh lord god just a few generalizations just a, a, a few things to contribute to our walk to the lord as we walk in fellowship with you lord god i pray that that lord god that that as as we speak these few nuggets god that our mind would just be illuminated, oh Lord God, and we'll just love on you the more. This we pray, this we ask in Jesus' mighty name. So I pray as David did, oh Lord God, may the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart would be acceptable in your sight. Oh Lord, you are my strength and you are my redeemer. My redeemer lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Let us say amen. Glory to God before you take your seats. Just use your hands as an instrument of praise and adoration. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God as you take your seats. As you take your seats, praise God. Bless the Lord. Now, b before I give you the scriptures, praise the Lord. First and always, I, you may be seated if you choose to do so. Glory to God. Come on, write this down. Write this down. Uh, and this probably be the only thing I'm going to say. Praise God. I, I, just some generalizations um, <coughs> that, that, um, um, could, that could be of contribution to your walk with the Lord. Now, this I'm going to have scriptures on it, but the rest of them we'll, we'll share at another time. All right. All right. Number one, God leads us to, pl to places of oneness with him. Amen. Just write that down. Now, you notice to say God will lead. He leads us to places of oneness with him. Amen. Fellowship with him. Amen. Just keep that. We'll, 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 we'll catch back up with that. We'll talk about it. All right. Satan's quest, number two, Satan's quest. Amen. Now, so, uh, uh, 1 Corinthians, second chapter, and I believe is the 11th verse, and, and I won't feel offended if you fact check me. Not fact check, fact check, because to make sure I have the right passage, but I believe that's what it is. That uh, 1 Corinthians second chapter, 11th verse said, for God will give us to know every tactic of the enemy. Amen. Praise the Lord. He'll give us to know every tactic of the enemy. Praise God. And and uh, 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 I hadn't said this in a long time. Satan is, 
is, is a fallen cherub. Archangel, excuse me, archangel. He lost his first estate. Influence uh, one third of the heavenly hosts and he's more than uh, 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 tridents and horn like we were told. Amen. He's a master deceiver. Amen. Praise God. So, his, so I believe in this day and this time, see, there are ploys of the enemy. Amen. There are strategies. Amen. But what, what's, what's happening out there? But his, 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 his um, scheme, now, right now, and I'm taking this to the fast. It's a scheme. scheme. We know what schemes are. Amen. They are masqueraded. Uh, is something we, and and the true intent of it hadn't been revealed yet, but God, oh praise God, will give you to know every tactic. So there are things that are, are schemes of Satan that are occurring right now, that are masqueraded. My God, so this this is what happens. So so this is important, right? And and so his quest is is this is what with the spirit of what I believe the spirit of God made known. His 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 scheme is to uh, uh, quest is to discredit the gospel of Jesus Christ. Hear me now, Amen. That that the scheme that's happening now, Amen. Uh, uh, that's masqueraded as an angel of light. But he's not. Amen. So that, but it's, it, the purpose of it is to discredit the gospel of Jesus Christ, God's word. Uh, now, particularly, this is what's, what's, what's going to be happening and is happening, but, but it's particularly uh, 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 been done through unrighteous acts done by those who profess Jesus with their mouth. Now, y'all watch this now. Going into, going into the fast. So this is how. So now, last of all, uh, this is what I want to tell you because this is victory. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, last one. And I want you to get a loud shout. Satan is terrified of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, I saved the best for that because I want you to take that home with me. Come on, say that. Satan is terrified. Of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. One more time. Come on, tell your neighbor. Satan is terrified. He's terrified of Jesus Christ. Come on, shout in this house. Now, that, that was something powerful. He's absolutely terrified of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, there's a connection to it. That involves you. But let me give you these scriptures. It's three scriptures and that's it. The rest we're going to come back on. He's terrified of Jesus Christ. First of all, look at, look at, uh, oh God. James 2, second chapter. I want to say James 2a, amen. Oh God. <coughs> Now, look at the 19th verse, James 2, 19. Now, I'm reading the King James Version. You have said, thou believest that there is one God. This is, what, this, this is what's in the 19th verse. All right. Thou doest well. If you believe that there's one God, you doing well. Amen. You doing well. Now, this, this is it. The devil's also believe and tremble. <laughs> Demons believe also that there's one God. And God delegated, he gave, the honor is given to his son, Jesus, who conquered death, hell, and the grave. Hallelujah. And he's terrified of Jesus. I'm talking about scared, absolutely scared. So, yeah, it, it, it disturbs me. Uh, uh, and, and, and I don't you think that I don't have respect for uh, 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 those, uh, you know, those who have honor. I honor those where honor is due. 
But it's the difference between having a church honor. It's okay. But when you have the anointing, amen, in your life, amen, and you're demonstrating the fruits we are. See, that's what I love about the Holy Ghost. It deputizes you to do the same things Jesus does. Amen. So, so what, what, what good is you going to, you're going to have the honor of men and you're going to have the accolades, but no power. Not even the power to rebuke a headache. Now, you know something wrong. Amen. And pastor, I, I, amen. And they had, when we met them at Strong, most of our learning concerning deliverance ministry and casting out devils because God going to always have you, uh, uh, somebody to mentor you. Amen. When demons come out, praise God, they're open. They're going to always come out with a loud a scream because they got to obey. Oh, y'all just missed that. Y'all just missed that. Amen. 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 They, 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 that's rebellion. All right. Come on, think about your child. Didn't I tell you to go to bed? Didn't I tell you to clean that room? Ah! They're going to do what? And rebel. All right. But the old, but, but y'all going to like this now. But the ultimate end, the ultimate end is that they're going to do what you say. Amen. Come on, shout somebody. Bless, the, bless God. They're going to they do what you say. Praise God. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. They're going to do what you say. And that's the biggest demon buster, a rod. <laughs> it casts out devils. It casts out the foolishness in children. I don't know why I'm saying this, but God's word is truth. I don't know if it's because uh, in this modern time we don't believe in disciplined children. Amen. I know the media. I know what the media said about uh, that football player. Oh, he took a limb and beat his child. My God, I thought, I said, oh, that's, a, now check me out. I said, that's horrible. He took a big old tree limb and beat the tar out of his child. Then I said, wait, hold it. Uh, that ain't what he talking about. He talking about a switch. You know, a myrtle, <laughs> y'all know nothing about that. You don't know nothing about that, do you? Myrtle tree, a plum, to where you plat them up. And they go like that. All it takes is one, two, three, and that's all you need with your shorts on. And that's it. So, 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 and I, I know, I know we're in a day where, where uh, uh, I want them to be independent and have their independent thoughts. I want them to be all, okay, and they, when they get grown, they're going to bite your ear off and beat the tar out of you and put you in a nursing home. And take your life insurance. <laughs> and sell your property and your house. Oh, I'm preaching now. <laughs> Glory to God. That's, that's the day that we live in now. Okay? All right. All right. So, uh, now all of that come out of casting out devils. At least, you know, Satan ain't no good. Amen. He wants to torment God's highest creation. So that's when, when they come out. Amen. And I've been, been involved. Amen. Bless God. And I mean, it's happening. All your travels and, this, and wife who experienced these things. They, they, they'll come out of the life <laughs> and, and they'll rip your body apart. On their way, but they got to come out. See, so they're opening. Ears is an opening. Nose is an opening. Mouth is an opening. All right. Pores. You know, and we'll, we'll uh, maybe in the fasting, we'll go into more detail. But Satan is terrified of Jesus Christ. Because he, he knows God's word is true, especially when it comes to him. So demons believe there's one God, especially what he's the fact that what God says is going to happen to him. And he trembles. Now, it's a connection to that involving you. Amen. That's, and now we said James what? Second chapter, what verse? Okay, look at uh, 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 Mark, first chapter. I wanted to stop on this. Uh, 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 I'll come back to the rest. Mark, first chapter. You have Mark 1, say amen. 
Okay, now he's t- Satan is terrified <coughs> of Jesus. All right, 20, Mark 1, I'm going to start 23rd. And there was in the synagogue a man with an unclean spirit, and he cried out. See, there it is, cried out. Amen. L- last example I'm going to give. I, I, I was going into a, a church. Uh, um, it's before we start pastoring. And um, um, a large, you know, uh, congregants and and so I was going into the pulpit, and it was a, 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 a minister was already there. And it looked like I can hear him, his spirit, man, before I got there. You know, I, he was already sitting. I had, had to pull was had chairs go this way, had uh, seats to go that way and go that way and the past chair in the middle. And uh, it looked like when I got here coming to the pulpit, I could just discern. Anybody know what I'm talking about? <laughs> and they could just hear. And, and he just, and the closer, I just kept looking at him while I'm walking. Like that, I had a I had a calm face, Sister Hardy. I did, <laughs> I did. I didn't give myself away, but look like I can hear him. And the more close I got to him, he just was twitching. And then I thought, well, his head looked at me, and just twitching. And then when I and you know you know how preachers do, you shake everybody's hand before you sit down. Any preachers in the house? Isn't that right? <laughs> and all right, you shake hands. That's the courteous thing. And when I Got, got, he just kept twitching, and when I got to him first, he looked at me, don't you say nothing to me. Just like that, and I bit my lip and went on and sat down. Now, he left, but you know what that was. You know what it was. Satan is terrified at Jesus Christ. Not why would he leave? Because something would have happened. Amen. The church belongs to Jesus Christ. And there are people in the body of Christ, if you, especially when the service starts. This is why it's so important, important that you come enter his gates with what? Thanksgiving. And enter to his courts with praise. It inhibits the work. The work of God can be inhibited by your lack of de- dedication in doing what Psalm 1 says. We shouldn't have to come every day every, to employ you to urge you to worship God. Amen. Amen. I know everybody's personality different. Amen. I know that. I know that. I know that. Bless God. Now, now, but I tell you what, now this is vintage Brother Hardy here. What if I put some tax in your seat? <laughs> no, I won't do that. <laughs> but I guarantee if you'll get up, You'll get up, but you get the message. You get the message, amen. You have a free will, amen. I choose to worship God. But I want to say, getting back to that, because demons believe there's one God, but they, um, they tremble. All right, so this was happening. All right, um, um, and, and so when they recognized Jesus, they said, <laughs> said they said to him, um, um, uh, but the man with unclean spirits cried out and said, let us alone. What, what do we have to do with you? You, 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 Jesus of Nazareth. I believe he said it ugly. Are you come to destroy us? I know who you are. The Holy One of Israel, the Holy One of God. Somebody ought to shout in this house. He recognized the authority of Jesus Christ, who he was and who he is. Now, it's a connection to what I'm saying. Amen. Satan is terrorized. Last scripture, I'm closing the book, 10th 10th chapter. And I'm taking all of this into the consecration. And I'll get a chance to share on this, preach on this, teach. Uh, uh, Luke, 10th chapter. (sighs) Satan is terrorized. Terrified of Jesus. All right, now 17th verse, 17th verse of 10th chapter. And the 70 returned again with joy. Hallelujah. Saying, Lord, it is the Lord. Oh, Jesus. And I'm telling, let me tell you, oh, God. De- demons, they, they, they subject to, they do what you say. We use your name because you told us we have power to turn. 
and go into the city and use your name. And then demons, they are subject to you. What we, whenever we use your name, they do what your name says. Somebody ought to shout. Satan is terrified of Jesus Christ. Now, what is the connection? Because the believers here today, Christ is in you. Christ is in you. The hope of glory. I don't need to usher you to praise him. Hallelujah. Satan is terrified at Jesus. Jesus is seated far above every principality and power, both now in this world uh, uh, and in the world to come. And he delegated and he gave authority to the church. And who is the church? Come on, we are. Glory to God. So because... So, so factually scripture, because Satan is terrorized at Jesus Christ, he is terrorized at the anointing in your life. Come on, bless his name. Come on, come on, come on, come on, bless him, bless him, bless him. He's terrorized at the anointing in your life. So, so when I think about all of those experiences in Mississippi and in Chicago and in New York and in uh, 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 Texas and, and Kansas City and, and all of those places that you been some, a uh, majority of them are in the house of God, but, but, but then there are those in public places because a lot of your demonstration in your life will be done in public places. Amen, somebody. Something about this fast, and if it's you, you, if it's you, you ought, ought, ought to bless God. You're going to lose all shame. Come on, bless him. I sense the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Because if, if this is you, but, but I, I don't usually say, I don't usually say if it's you. Glory to God. But I'm doing it now, my God, because you, you could, 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 could. I know the craftiness. There's somebody here who, who is this and that. And it's probably somebody else who is there. Exactly doing this to say you. But there here, but here, it mattered to you what people thought of you. You're going to be delivered during this consecration. Right. It ain't going to matter to you no more what people, my God. Your reputation, I, this is what I hear the, the words of the Holy Ghost, because you walked in bondage through that for years. My God, your reputation has been restored. Come on, bless him. And I hear the words of the Lord, for you are virtuous again. Come on, hallelujah. Those are the words I hear. Write it down, virtuous. If Jesus was to come tomorrow, you would go with him because you are without spot or wrinkle. Hallelujah. Oh, somebody ought to shout. So that's all we'll say now. That's all we done. I'm coming back to those, those are generalizations that we're going to teach on, preach on. Bless God. Hallelujah. Now, grab the person's hand right beside you. Just in your seated area. This row, grab, just, just, just grab hand. You don't have to come over. You, 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 get somebody. Just hook. And when you do, bow your heads. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Even if you write it down, Based on what I what 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 I see in the realm of the spirit, if you have to, if you're able to retain it in the members of your mind, that's good. But afterwards, if you want to write it down, you do so. Hallelujah. There are some marvelous things that are going to happen to you during this consecration. There's some marvelous things. That what you giving up, is, is, it doesn't even compare with what's going to be imparted unto you. Hallelujah. 
Glory to God. You know what the, uh, 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 you know, you know what, the, what the Holy Ghost told me? Uh, 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 New Year's night, that this year will be my breakout year. That's right, y'all doing right because I'm shouting on that. Glory to God. I don't need nobody, amen, to make me not have, it's gonna be my breakout year. Breakout year. Breakout year. My breakout year. Hallelujah. I know the first thing will come to your mind is money, but they ain't even come to my mind. No, 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 no. I know what it is. I know what it is. Uh, the Holy Ghost years ago said my, the 30s would be our what? Decade of opportunity. 40s would be, uh, I'm talking about us, our life. Amen. 40s would be uh, 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 fulfilling your destiny, going towards your destiny. Now, we're in our 50s now. Glory to God. Next year, I'll be the, the big 6-0. I'm going to get my own birthday party. <laughs> I know that sounds vain, but I'm happy. Glory to God. 50s will be the decade of fulfillment because a lot of things come to pass. So I'm going to be the big 6-0 next year. God always does things leading up to. He all, and, and, and I remember when you said, well, what did the Lord say when you get in your sex this? Sure she, <laughs> she did say, I know now. I know now. So when I said some wonderful things are going to happen. Glory to God. So submit to the Lord. Father, thank you. We surrender our will to you. We surrender our heart to you. We surrender our, our whole soul unto you. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I know families are here. I know a lot of families are not here. But God, the ones that are here, I pray that the word of God will permeate and be affixated in their heart. For the heart that I'm talking about, the core of their spirit. That that which permeates on the inside with it indelibly, O oh Lord God, will be manifested in the outward man, that they will act on what you have done on the inside, that you strengthen our inner man. Hallelujah. And I pray that you give, uh, uh, that give us, that you grace us with wisdom and revelation and in the knowledge of your will. And that the eyes of our understanding would just continually be enlightened. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. If you believe it, come on, just bless God. Take, take a few seconds to honor him.